Hello everyone, this is take two. This is an open box. I placed an order with Tokyo Model Detective and got some more model kits. The earlier take involved Miri. And well, I love Miri to death. Don't take this as a negative, but she was trying to steal the show, so to speak. So this is take two without Miri. I'm gonna put a link to the video with Miri. So those of you that are fans of Miri, you can be able to see the video that has her in it. But she was all over the place today. It was like she had some chocolate or something. Anyhow, one of the things Miri wanted me to show everyone, and this is something I've been doing for the last few days, I have some clear cast resin that's starting to expire. So I'm using it. And what I did is I bought some jewelry making molds, molds like this, and the girls and I did some resin casting just because it would be fun. We wanted to see what we can make out of this. Okay, so I'm going to put this on because it's better with white. Experimenting with resin dyes and mixtures. Here, let me zoom this a little bit just to see what we can get out of it because the clear resin is going to die soon. And I know it is. The dye got to the bottom of this and the dye ended up a little sticky, so it's not good. You need to keep the dye in the resin. Now, the, on this one, the dye stayed in the resin, and this is one of the better pieces we made. I really like how this one turned out with the contrast between the clear and the red. We have a couple other ones that were green, and Miri kept those, apparently. They're not here. We tried putting some beads in them, and this is one with beads. It actually looks pretty cool, if you ask me. These remind me of buttons from the Enterprise and Star Trek without the beads. If they were colored like yellow and red, I could use these as buttons on Star Trek pretty easily. Button toppers, they, they just look like those buttons to me. Okay, now we're getting some of the interesting ones. I'll find out where the green ones were. You can see the flash all over it. Now, I have some pigment powder, some gold, blue, and scarlet pigment powder, metallics. You can see the metallics on this side. I'm, it, it's pigment powder. I mean, it is very finely ground. I'm sure I could add it to some paint to get some good metallic sheens. This has some blue dye with the pigment powder. I think they look really kind of, actually, I think they look cool. The one that came out the best to me is this one. That's nothing but the pigment powder is poured on top of the clear resin. On the back side, you have nothing but the pigment powder. On this side, it's got a nice 3D effect to it. And see, the pigment powder still comes off the other side. You can see I've got some gold on my fingers. So I really like how this one turned out. And this came about because I'm trying to cast some green resin for... Hand sole on carbonite. This is a replacement panel for it. I need to cut out this part right here and cut it off the carbonite model and replace that part with this. Okay? It's a nice, good cast. It's not completely green, which bothers me a little. I wanted a darker green, more the color of this. That's what I was shooting for. Because on white, that looks like a CRT panel somewhat. This has a green hue to it. It's fine with a white background, it'll look okay. It's just not exactly what I wanted. All right, bam, let's get to the box because this is what you guys are here to see. But Miri was trying to show us all these constantly today. And that was part of the interruptions of the video. All right, opening the box. Now I've already opened it once. So this is open number two. I found these in here. I didn't know what they were. It says not for sale down there. So I tore them open and they are collector cards of Bandai's model kits. Okay, the front and the back of the box is here. Which, they're all in Japanese for the most part. I think this is really cool. I like having them. These are not going to be thrown away. I'm trying to decide if I get some little picture frames and stick them in little picture frames and put them around the room. Okay, so that gets set aside. I have the camera zoomed too much, and I'm not paying attention to my camera, so that is bad of me. Let's do that part again. I have these Star Wars things, plastic models, it's in Japanese, Bandai, and you get little cards 
of your model kits. Okay? In the box, we've got the ATM6. This is the Mecha Kali collection. They are not very large. Okay? And looking at it, I didn't expect much. And then you open the box, and you can see there's some good detail on them pretty quickly. There are three sprue in there. There's quite a few parts to this. And, of course, the directions are on the box lid. I'm going to do a full review of these, and I have the Revel version of this guy, so we'll compare it to the Revel kit later this week. I've got three of these. I felt like getting a few of them. That way I can build a couple and just play with them. I got some nippers. God Hand Made in Japan for Plastic Only Nippers. And they come with a little sheath for the top. Okay. I already have some Zuron nippers. I like the Zuron nippers. These look like they had smaller, finer blades, and they do. This might work better on some of the Gundam kits and the Bandai Star Wars kits. So I wanted to give them a try. I don't re remember them being cheap. I remember them kind of being half the cost of this shipment. So we will see what they are like. I'm going to use them on a model kit pretty soon. Okay. Some more things. I got a Japanese calendar from Dragon's 30th Anniversary. And I didn't know in Japan they actually numbered the months. <laughs> and it's all in Japanese. But it's kind of cool to have a calendar. Okay? And you got the letters of the week up there. It's interesting. Or the words for the week. We have a catalog in here, I think. Or it is a book. I'm not sure. You have to look through it to see what it is. It looks like a catalog. Just some random Japanese stuff, which is interesting. Okay? Because American advertisements are nothing like this. It looks like it's a catalog. Okay? Of tools for model kits and stuff. So it's kind of interesting to look at. And there's a cartoon in here. Okay? And inside here, well, this is the case that that came in. Actually, I had a case. Okay? So it's kind of fun. And I'm probably reading it backwards. You probably read it this way. No, in Japanese, it goes backwards. So the cartoon is at the beginning, and the catalog is at the back. And it came with a little sheath like this. That's kind of cool. We have some random advertisements in here. Instead of package material, Darren stuffed these things in there, which is kind of cool. If I could read Japanese, it would be fun to see what some of this stuff is. Okay? Like Happy Egg Girls. And here's another one. Hiroshima News. I got some duplicates, I think. There's the invoice. Oh, you can see what's next. Car model kits. And we have General Grievous. The bottom of the box is just a Y-Wing. We've done a review of that already, so we don't need to really look at that much. I wanted another Y-Wing kit. And with the shipping cost, I'm already paying for everything else. Soaring a Y-Wing in didn't really cost too much more. In addition, he's selling it cheaper and I can get it here. So, yeah, let's order from Darren while I'm ordering other things. All right, General Grievous. So taking a quick look in here, you got your first sprue, which is always multicolored. You have some effect parts and some bright green plastic. We have another multicolor sprue. Apparently there's decals and stickers. Well, I don't know if there's decals and stickers. There's part of his cloak. Apparently there is a stand that goes with this that holds him up somewhat. Here's headpieces. There's the rest of your typical Star Wars base. And here's some black pieces here. Ooh, two colored cloak that is cloth. That is cool. All right, and then we have our directions, a quick run through the directions. Lots of parts to this guy. This guy you can't just build out of the box either. That's just not going to work. Now, I didn't see all the lightsabers, and this shows three lightsabers here, and it looks like there are four that come with him. 
So I'm going to have to dig through it and take another look and see if I missed the lightsaber somehow. This is supposed to be a quick look and not a, a authoritative look at what's inside this box. I like the cloth cloak though. And the fact it's two colors. That's probably part of the cost of this model kit. Oh, I found the lightsabers. I just wasn't looking well enough. We got blue and green. Helps if you look. Well, there's a quick look of what's in the box from Tokyo Model Detective. Okay, I kind of changed my mind. I'm not going to link to Miri at the back. I'm just going to stick it on the end of this video so you can watch the video again, only with Miri interrupting constantly. So, you get to see it both ways. Have a good one, everyone. I hope you enjoy. I hope life finds you well. I forgot one thing. I have been working on some models. I'm almost done with Han Solo on Carbonite. He's got fibers stuck everywhere on him right now. I just got to find the time to solder some LEDs together. Cut out that one panel for the blue resin. I also built this model kit. It's uh, from, a, from a board game. I had it sitting around. I bought it years ago. I, didn't, I paid like three bucks for it on eBay. Thought nothing of it. Thought it was kind of a garbage thing. Then I build it and look at it and go, no, it's really not garbage. It's got some nice details on it. Here, let me get closer so everyone can see this thing. It actually has some nice details on it. This guy's ready for paint. Um, you will see in a later video that I also have a World War Tunes tank that's ready for paint. I've already built it. So I'm going to be doing some painting as soon as I get Han Solo done. I'm actually finding some time to f spend in the hobby room. Right now I do have a project I'm working on for work that's eating up all my hobby time. So for the last week and a half I haven't been in here. But I'm going to fix that. Um, coming up, there's a video that outlines what's coming up. So I'll just wait until I get that video posted. It should be the next video I post. So the video will talk about this and some of the models I plan to build kind of quickly because I know I don't have time to spend in here more than 20 or 30 minutes a week. So I can't work on anything too complex right now. So if you want me to build the Bandai Perfect Grade Falcon, that's out of the picture for a few years just because of the way life is. But I can build some other stuff that don't require that kind of attention. And I bought some photo etch, paragraphics, it's downstairs. And I've got some decals coming for a really old model kit. And I'm going to put it together and I'm going to light it up. All right, I'll be back in a little while. Enjoy the Miri version.